Alright everybody, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO series here on my channel. This is going to be called... Well, actually, I don't even know what it's going to be called yet, but it's going to be a series where basically I make a deck off of something popular or interesting. And we're actually making a Harambe-themed deck. Actually, I think... Well, I don't want to call it like a themed deck. It's a theme deck themed... I don't know. We'll, we'll think of a name. By the time you see this in the title, you'll probably... You know, I've guessed a name, but... Basically, we're going to be taking something like basing a deck off of something like maybe make like just I'll throw some examples out there like maybe a Spider-Man themed deck, a I don't know, like a Walking Dead themed deck. Uh, I'm probably going to do that because I'm a huge Walking Dead fan. Uh, I don't know, like a zombie themed deck, any deck like a I've done this before with like Halloween themed decks. I know kind of Puka did this, but I want to expand it more and make it even bigger and just cooler. So we're going to be starting off with a Harambe themed deck because Harambe is like a big meme right now and rip Harambe. I'm not going to say the hashtag thing, you know, the thing out for Harambe just because, well, one, I don't want to say explicit language. But anyways, welcome to this series. It's going to be a fun series. It's not going to be taken seriously, but it's going to be fun. We're going to be testing out a deck based on something. This is the deck I have built based off Harambe. Harambe is a gorilla. Okay, Harambe is a gorilla. So we needed to make a deck that had gorilla Pokemon. Now, I was going to originally do this with monkey Pokemon, like the Simis, you know, the Simi Poor, Simi Seer, Simi Sage. But those were monkeys. We gotta use a gorilla, man. We gotta use a gorilla. You know what I mean? Because Harambe was a gorilla. He's not a monkey. He's a gorilla. So we're gonna be using gorilla Pokemon. And the two gorilla Pokemon are Slacking. I mean, he is a gorilla. He actually kind of resembles Harambe. And then Darmanitan. He's also a gorilla. I know you're like, well, he's not a gorilla. No, he is a gorilla. He does not look like Trigger Happy from Skylanders. He is a gorilla. These are gorilla Pokemon, and this deck is going to be based around our gorilla Pokemon. Now, unfortunately, I didn't want to actually base a deck around this Darmanitan, but I didn't have many of them, and I was too lazy to go on my way to get them. Um, so we're going to be using this Darmanitan instead. It's not that good. This deck is mainly a slacking count, uh, deck, but we are going to play in this Darmanitan with damage counter punch, which is 60. And if this thing has any damage on it, it does 120 damage. It's not really that good because it's really, really fragile with 110 HP. But hey, you never know when we can actually use damage counter punch. So we are going to be running one Darmanitan in the deck. And actually, this thing could be a good way to knock out Shaman. So there you go. Um, and then, well, we're going to be running the two of these Darmanitans. And we're going to be running one Darmanitan with the attack Darmaxitan. I like the attack a lot. I do think it's a pretty powerful attack for like a fun little rogue deck. And then we got Slack King, which is kind of the main guy of the deck. So Slack King is pretty decent. It's not really good enough to make a deck around it, but it does have the attack Amnesia. So what it does is you choose one of your active po opponent's active Pokemon's attack, and then they can't do that attack during your opponent's next turn. So this is going to be pretty important. So the whole goal of the deck is to make it so that our opponent cannot use one of their attacks. This is good and expanded. You got you can block stuff like Night March, even though you're gonna be one shot Night March other than Pumpkin Boos, you can block Night March, you can block um I don't know, like Emerald Bray, you can block stuff like B Revenge, all that stuff can get blocked with Amnesia, which is pretty nice. Now, I mean we could run Aridos, um or not Aerie, we could run laser dragology with it. So that Amnesia would be even more deadly. But that is that. We are going to be playing this with the attack Amnesia. It's a pretty fun attack. We even got Knuckle Sandwich, which you never know we can knock out a Shaman with. So that is our two main attackers, the Monkey Gorilla Pokemon. We obviously got stuff like Vigoroth and Slackoth and the Daryumakas. We do play two Shaman. And yeah, this is the Pokemon line. And we can get into the items. We got one Computer Search. Since we do play Stage 2, Spear Search is really nice to get Rare Candy from the deck. It's just a good card in general. Two Lasers. I just decided to throw it in here because Laser is such a good card. And it's just such a powerful card. You never know when it can actually work in your favor. One Level Ball just to grab out Vigoroth or like Sack Author during Maka. Three Rare Candies. Um, I know we don't need the three because we got the two Vigoroth just in case of Item Lock. But Rare Candy is so good. We want to make sure we get Slack Candy out really quickly. So we're going to make sure we run three of those. Could go four, but it doesn't matter. One Special Charge. This deck does rely on Special Energy pretty big so we do need to run at least one of these one megaphone megaphone is such a nice card we're gonna play one of these uh one super rod also super rod is a nice card just get back anything four trainers mail is another nice card to play in the deck it helps us lock at our rare candies and you know stuff like that four ultra balls ultra ball is just such a good card we also need to run four of these things four vs seekers also vs seekers is such a nice card gets you all these stuff back i don't really need to go in depth in those one chorus chorus is such a good draw support card and expanded you can drop to like 16 cards with it. They have a sky field in play. One Lysander. Lysander is pretty simple for any deck. Uh, I can't tell how many N we have. 2N. Uh, 2N is pretty basic also. 
just draw support. We do play a Pokemon Ranger just in case we do get item locked. We can just do that and get out of the item lock. So that's nice. Uh, we got four Professor Sycamore. This is just nice in the deck. Just boom, dump your hand, draw support. We do play one Floatstone. Just, we can put Floatstone on something with, I mean, sorry, the Mantain got two retreat costs. And Shaman, and then also Slack King's got a whopping four retreat cost. So we're just gonna play one Floatstone. You could always take Switch in, but I like Floatstone more. Three Muscle Band. Muscle Band, I, I miss this card so much in Standard. But Muscle Band just makes our Pokemon 20 more damage. Even though they're not basics, we don't need belts. We got four DCEs. And then the rest of the energy, um, I'm gonna have to go into this mini mode because I can't scroll down here on my laptop. But we do play five Fire Energy. We do play Super Rod, so we don't really need to worry about that. But yeah, this, that, uh, this is the Harambe themed deck it's a really funny deck it's not to be taken seriously but it's just a fun deck let's try this deck out on pc joe and see if we can actually win a game with it all right let's get into the game i got with this wacky harambe themed deck yeah i know it's weird but we're gonna win and we get to go first in the coin flip which is nice maybe we can get like a turn two slacking i don't know it's a weird deck the point is we're trying to have fun with the deck we're not really trying to do anything big and we got a mulligan here um with the two gorilla pokemon and it uh, looks like we're playing against a Tyranitar deck. I'm kind of confused on that one. I mean, if it is, it's not a bad matchup because it only really uses the one attack. So if we get a Slack King play, we can go with that. We don't really have a good hand, though. I'm not really liking this. I don't want to play that DCE down either because I did see my opponent played an Enhanced Hammer, which is an annoying card to run into. So we're going to start with Slack off. Not really the best start ever, but we're going to go for it. We'll see how it goes. Playing against this Tyranitar deck. Not really a matchup I was expecting. Um, perfect. We got an N. Okay, we can put the Muscle Band on. We can use Trainer's Mail. Ultra Ball and Computer Search. Um, I don't think I want any of that. Like, maybe I should have taken the Ultra Ball. But I kind of want to hold on to the those cards. Because I can get like a turn to slacking maybe. Um, okay, that's actually not a bad hand either. We'll take it. Uh, we'll play the slack off down. Hopefully my opponent doesn't enhance hammer me. Actually, you know, I'm going to call it right now. I'm calling it. My opponent's going to use enhanced hammer. I'm calling it right now. Let's train his mail. Uh, Sycamore. We can play this, actually. And we can grab our... We grab something. Well, hold on. I don't know if I should hold on to it or not. I want to use the Ultra Ball. Grab, like, a Dar Darumaka. But at the same time... My opponent could end me, and then I'm down to Sycamores, but if I get to be a Seeker, so I think I'll be fine. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to do the Ultra Ball yet. We'll end the turn. I don't want Ultra Ball, because if my opponent does end me, then I'm going to lose two Ultra Balls and a Sycamore, and I don't know if that would have been the best of plays. I don't really want to lose my Ultra Balls yet, just in case of an end. But like I said, guys, I'm calling it right now. My opponent's going to play Enhanced Hammer on my poor Slack Off, and then I won't be able to... Attack, calling it right now. So we see a fan club. That's a weird card. Don't really see much of that. Uh, grabbing its shaman and a dark eye. All right. So please don't enhance hammer me. Please do not enhance hammer me. I swear to gosh. Okay. So we see the dark energy going on Tyrantar. We see shaman going to only set up for one card. Thankfully. Please don't get. I, watch this be enhanced hammer. I'm just gonna call it right now. Call it right now. It's enhanced hammer. Nope. But we do see a rush in. So it looks like my opponent is going to go that route we won't be able to really block anything important with that okay um not really the topic i was looking for so let's ultra ball we'll get rid of sycamore and n i guess there's no point and let's grab shaman and try and get rare candy i think that's like the best play right now is try and do shaman try and get like a rare candy so that we can get the big old slack king in play and did we get, and it, wow, two Slack Kings. That is not good, actually. That's really bad. That's really bad. Um, we're losing so much important stuff here. We'll go with an Ultra Ball, and we'll get rid of, uh, we'll get rid of a Slack King and Darmantan. We'll grab a Vigoroth, and then I guess next turn, well, we could grab another Shaman. So let's grab Shaman again, and see if we can, um, do something with that. I don't know, I mean... Hopefully we get rare candy. We'll, we'll gamble. I was going to grab Vigoroth, but... We'll, okay, so we can... Okay, we can actually do this. We can put the fire energy on Slack off. We can put the Flowstone on to Shaman. And we can just be a Seeker for an end. I don't really want to do that, but we'll go for it anyways. We couldn't get the rare candy, which is annoying, but we can be a Seeker for N. And... Oh 
my god, I'm still getting these bad hands. We do have Megaphone, which I like to see. And I guess we'll go for a big yawn. Not really going to matter too much. Put the Keldeo to sleep. This way, he won't be able to retreat, actually. So it looks like he does wake up, which is annoying. Of course he does. Um, but yeah. I don't really know what to say about these luck, though. I don't know where the heck my rare candy is. I'm just getting really bad draws here. And... Hopefully my opponent doesn't do much else. We could see an Enhanced Hammer, which I'm just fearing that card. I just hate that card so much. Um, and we see the Mega T-Tar come into play, and we're just... My opponent's gonna pass the turn. That is fine. We're actually gonna be able to play down you, I guess? And... I don't know if he's gonna be able to put damage on me. So I'm actually gonna do this. Bit of a weird play, I know, but we'll go with it anyways. And we'll do that. And we'll chorus. And oh, oh, look at that. We actually got the Slack King going for once in our lives. We finally got it. Got that Slack King in play. Right, we'll play Vigoroth then, I guess, while we're at it. And we'll go with. I don't want to. We'll go with an Amnesia, and then next turn we'll knuckle punch him, I guess. So yeah, now we can't play Secret Sword, even though he wasn't going to play. But the good thing is, Secret Sword would actually hurt this thing quite a bit. Won't be able to do Destroyer King. So that'll be good. Um, yeah. um, oh, actually, wait, hold on. I gotta quickly end this recording. Um, someone's calling me. And yeah, I'll be right back. Guys, yeah, sorry about that. I had to quickly do something. Someone was calling me down from my house. And I had to go quickly, you know. Obviously, I had to answer them. So I'm sorry, guys, if I had to pause the recording there. I do apologize. Um, I guess we'll sick more. See, I I missed my opponent's turn, but I don't really think he did anything, so I'm fine. Uh, laser stuff like that. All right, let's just go for the knuckle sandwich. Knock out, knock out his Keldeo, which is pretty nice, and we'll get rid of a fire energy, I guess. And boom, that is dead, and we can grab two prize cards. We did lose a special charge, which sucks. Um, see so ya. Yeah. But yeah, I do apologize for trying to end that, pause that recording really quickly. You guys aren't going to know that I paused, because <laughs> obviously I just stopped the recording quickly. But again, guys, I had to go downstairs really quickly and, you know, talk to someone, because someone was calling my name, and I had to go down and help them do something. So yeah, anyways, I don't think my opponent can knock me out here. I mean, the best he can do is do 100 and, 110, actually, even if I attack him. I'm, it's not gonna hold on this. I think it only affects the expo one, right? Uh, yeah, so dangerous energy isn't gonna apply to Slack King, so he's gonna have to play a lot of, I guess, uh, VS Seekers. I don't know. So he's putting an energy on Shaman, and it looks like we're gonna see a Sky Return. So yeah, my opponent is definitely trying to, uh, he's gonna try and go that route, but that's not really a big deal in my in my eyes. Uh, okay, laser. No point in playing that now. Uh, you know, hold on to that. I don't know why I was going to do that. We'll Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of Rare Candy and Slack Off. And we'll grab another Slack King. We'll get him into play. This is just such a weird matchup, but it's not a bad matchup. I'm running low on cards, though, so I need to be careful. So we'll evolve him into Slack King. And we will, I guess we'll just attack. I don't really want to play the energy down just yet. So let's just go for a Amnesia here for 70 and get rid of Night Spear. I don't want to play the energy onto Slack King quite yet, which I know might be a little weird, but hey, give me up. Uh, you know, I'm always fearing that enhanced tamer. I'm going to hold on to the energy because I can actually knock him out with Knuckle Sandwich next turn. Uh, and luckily, the Tyrantar can't even knock me out. Oh no, it can actually. What am I saying? Alright, that's fine. We got that. Oh my god! Of course. And he does his erotic. That is bad. God, I hate these stupid energy discarding decks, dude. They're so annoying to play against. And wow, my opponent's actually gonna pass the turn there. I uh, don't really know why he did that. Uh, but that's fine. We'll do this. I mean, we, uh, we could have knocked out the Dark Ride, which wouldn't have been bad. Uh, it's Lysander in the discard. No, it's in our deck. So let's computer search. Get rid of Sycamore and Ultra Ball. And please, Lysander, don't be in the prizes. Oh my god, it's not. Okay, good. We'll grab our Lysander. And we will Lysander out Tyranitar. 
And I know we can retreat, which is annoying, but we can do Amnesia here for 70 and block his Destroyer King attack. We are going to take 20 damage from that, but it's not a big deal. Uh, the lucky thing is, too, is that we... Oh no, Knuckle Sandwich won't do enough. 120, wow, for 4 energy, that's a horrible attack, actually. So he puts energy on Darkrai, which is fine. I mean, I kind of have him in such a, kind of a weird spot right now. I should have lasered him, I forgot, whoops. So we see the Shaman go down, you know, set up for a few cards. Hopefully he doesn't get Enhanced Hammer, that would really suck. But we do see an N, alright, that's fine. Uh, that's not a big deal. So he's gonna end me only down to four. Hopefully we get a VS Seeker, that'd be great. No, uh, we actually don't get that great of a hand compared to the last one. We see a Tyranitar go down, that's fine. We're probably just gonna see him retreat into Darkrai, but then we'll just knock it out with Knuckle Sandwich. I think that'll be the best play. Kind of wish it wasn't that much energy. No, he brings up Shaman. We can knock it out with Knuckle Sandwich and take two prizes, which I like. And there's a DC, perfect. So I like to see. Let's just level ball. And, okay, level ball, we'll grab Vigoroth, I mean, we'll just dump this card, we don't, we're not gonna leave a level ball anymore, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll put the fire onto Slack King, and we will Knuckle Sandwich, knock out his Shaman, all we need is a VS Seeker, and we can actually win the game, surprising enough, we can actually win the game if we get a VS Seeker here, because we'll just build Lysander Darkrai and knock it out. So let's try and get VS Seeker, nice, and Trainer's Mail, even better. Wow. We might actually be able to win this. That's really weird. I, I'm i calling an end, though. So we'll see. Is he going to end me or not? If he doesn't end me, we should be fine to win the game. We see a Rocky Hummel go on Darkrai. And there's the end. Yeah, okay. So we're going to need to kind of do something here. I think we'll be fine, though, to win the game, in all honesty. Uh, we just need a Lysander via a Seeker. Okay, if we get an energy here, we... And there's the... I hate that card. I hope whoever made that dies. I'm kidding. Um, so there we see Destroyer King knock me out. Stupid Hands Hammer, such a annoying card. I that card needs to be banned from this game. I'm sorry, it's just such. Enhanced Hammer is the worst card ever made, in my opinion. It is ridiculously annoying. So we'll retreat, bring up Daryumaka, and we'll let him sit there and take a knockout. And at this point, we just need to get another DCE in the deck, which I know there still is one in there, and then we can win the game with a Lysander here, so that's good. As long as he doesn't Lysander up Slack, okay. Well, mm, yeah, as long as he doesn't Lysander up Slack, yeah, I should be fine. See the Tyranitar Spirit, this is such a close game. That Enhanced Hammer, though, is really starting to get on my nerves, though. Actually, no, he DC, oh, never mind, we're not gonna be able to win, and oh my god, why are you popping on my screen? Get out of here, malware. You annoying, annoying, stupid program. And, okay, so there's the laser. We see a dark ride go down, too. And we see Professor's Letter gonna grab two Dark Energies. I don't, I mean, that Enhanced Hammer, man, I don't know if I can win at this point. Like, that card is big. There's a Juniper, even worse. I, dude, they need to get rid of Enhanced Hammer. That card is so goddamn annoying, dude. Oh my god, that's like literally, like, if I were to ban any card in Pokemon, it would be Enhanced Hammer. You see a Max Flex, I don't even know, I wasn't paying attention, I don't even know if that got an energy or not. And there's a Dark Patch. Ugh, this, that enhanced hammer was so big, there's like no way I can win now. Yeah, like I don't think I can win. We do see that doing 110 damage. It is gonna knock out my Darry Maka. <sighs> God, this game sometimes. This game, sometimes I'm telling you, it is so annoying. So bring up Shaman. There's a laser. Let's laser. Hopefully we can put him to sleep, actually. Maybe that'll stall us a few turns. Oh, nice. We do get him to sleep. Whoa, play a muscle band. I guess we'll put on you. And we do have to play the VS Seeker, guys. And we'll grab a Colrus. Are we gonna get Okay, no, we'll... it doesn't matter what we grab actually, but we'll grab Colrus. Didn't matter what we grab. We could have grabbed Sycamore and Colrus. Wouldn't have matter. We're still drawing seven cards. There's a fire energy. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We can put that onto Slack King. We'll play these. And we'll basically just try and increase the chances of getting the DC. So there's VS Seeker. So we can grab that. We'll Trainer's Mail again, and we will grab VS Seeker, and we'll play down Daryu Maka just in case an N. I mean, at this point, it's basically about us just trying to win the game, and I'm kind of tempted to keep Shaman in the active spot. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep Shaman in the active spot in case he doesn't wake up. I don't mind losing Shaman here, 
and he does wake up, but I don't mind having the Shaman get knocked out. Even though he's gonna take two prizes, it doesn't matter. I should be fine, as long as... If... Oh, there's a Megaphone. That doesn't matter, we're still knocking out the Darkrai. So, I'm fine. Not a big deal. And, oh, he breaks up the Tyrantar. He's gonna do more damage to his bench. We see our Verse Valley. Okay, even bigger. And via Seeker. What is he gonna grab with that? N, alright, that's that's fine. As long as we get via Seeker and DCE, we should win the game. I doubt we're gonna get that though. I mean it'll take a miracle. Yeah, poke oh crap, that is not good. That's not good. There's a dark patch. Dude, that stupid enhanced hammer man. I mean he did have Sarosic too, I guess, but still that enhanced hammer man just such an annoying card. And we see the breakground, and I mean at this point. I don't even know if bringing up the slacking is worth it. We'll just bring up the Armanitan. We just have to get some things to spy. I mean, I don't really know if I can win at this point. It's just such bad luck. There's another Armanitan. Oh my god, this is bad. These top decks, man. Ugh. I don't know, guys. I don't know if we can win this. I really don't. And, yep, there's Lysander. There's the game. I'm tempted to concede, but I'll just let this guy knock me out. Whatever. Such a... Ugh. Such a close game. Unfortunately, that stupid enhanced hammer made the difference in that end too. Uh, but yeah, I guess I'm not even gonna say good game because I, that was such an annoying match. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit like button, don't subscribe to my PC Show videos. And I'll see you guys later. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this little series. I want to make like decks based on like things like I don't know, like a deck based on like like this was a Harambe deck. And there we got uh, like other decks like um, I don't know. We can base decks off anything you want. I and mean, if you want me to base a deck off something interesting, like maybe like a deck based off of like another animal or something else, just leave it in the comments below and I'll gladly do it. I don't know, this isn't going to be like a series I'm going to upload every Friday um, or any other day. So uh, like I said, I'm just going to upload these whenever I can. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.